Hi, Copper Pro friends. In this video, I will be sharing with you with the most important safety measures when using our Copper Pro steels. Basically, essential oil extraction or hydrosol extraction is very safe and easy process. But still, there are some measures you have to take care uh, to, to be sure that uh, uh, yourself and uh, the steel will be absolutely safety. So uh, when working with uh, extraction, uh, you of course use water, which is boiling. Uh, boiling water generates vapor and vapor is the uh, possible cause of some damages of the steel. So not to, to cause uh, vapor corks, uh, you have to think of proper filling the column. When filling the column, of course, you can uh, press some raw material uh, to, get, to put more of it into the column. But uh, when you are using uh, smooth raw material or uh, raw material which is very, has very small particles uh, like uh, rosemary and in terms of smooth surface it, will, it can be like uh, fresh leaves which are smooth. Uh, so this type of raw materials uh, can cause the blockage of uh, the vapor. So when the vapor is going uh, up, uh, the smooth surface can put, uh, put together and then the vapor is not able to um, cross the column and go into the cooler. So, so uh, for in this case, you don't have to compress the raw material in, col uh, in the column, but uh, vice versa, you have to leave some extra space for so, uh, um, like, if you decide to distill the um, beer leaves, you have to have uh, extra space in the column, so uh, the vapor will find its way to the cooler. Another feature is the cooling water. You have to use enough uh, cooling water uh, to cool the vapor and to get it uh, hydrosol out of uh, hydrosol outlet. Uh, at least uh, half a liter per minute should, should be water current, but uh, the, uh, whether, you, whether you have enough cooling water or not, you can decide on uh, the temperature of the cooler. If you are not able, if uh, the cooler is not cold in the lower part here, uh, during the distillation, it means you don't use enough of uh, water. You have to make the current um, stronger. Uh, very useful thing for uh, safety is a thermometer. Uh, when it's plugged in the boiler, the thermometer should, uh, the uh, temperature will be, should always be below 100 degrees. It means there is no blockage of the vapor in the column and uh, the vapor goes easily into the cooler. If you don't have the plug for the thermometer here in the boiler, you should uh, have it in the column. And then uh, if you know that the water is boiling, but uh, the uh, temperature here is uh, good below uh, 90 degrees, it means uh, the vapor is not going uh, to this point and it's blocked somewhere. So in this case, in, in case something is not going properly or uh, the water is boiling, uh, boiling but uh, the hydrozole is not coming out, you have to stop the distillation uh, right away but keep the water cooling uh, going on. Uh, of course, it takes some time uh, uh, for, for the vapor to to heat uh, the content of the column and that's why you have to be always next to the uh, distilling unit when the boiling starts and when the distillation starts. So uh, after you can hear uh, the sound of the boiling water within one minute maximum or two, uh, the hydrosol should be coming out of uh, this tube. If it's not happening, you have to check temperature, you have to check the cooling and uh, see if uh, everything connected properly according to manual. 
Of course, you have to read manual and safety measures in the manual where you can have uh, more information on the safety during distillation process. So when uh, starting your uh, distillation, please read manual, first step. Second step is a proper filling up of the column. Third is a checking the temperature in the column or in the boiler. And uh, the fourth one is uh, checking the proper cooling in the cooler. Thank you. Uh, so if you have more questions on the safety measures, please do not hesitate. I would say you should contact our manager to know more about this important topic. If you find this uh, video useful, please put the thumb up and bye-bye.